I think you know what's coming. You're gonna have to scoot. I need some space. Alright, I'm just gonna sit there then we're good. Hey guys, it's V. So today we are doing a dry shampoo lasting impression. Oh man, it has been quite a while since I've done one of these. I don't even remember the last dry shampoo that I tested on camera for you guys, but what we're going to be doing is seeing if we can fix this flat, greasy hair into voluminous, um, looks like it's been washed hair. And we are gonna be testing out the OGX Bodifying and Fiber Full Body Renew Dry Shampoo. Look at this packaging. Would it not draw you in as well? I was recently at Ulta picking up some eyebrows gel and I saw this on a display and I just like sprayed a little bit on my hand so that I could get a smell for it because dry shampoo smell is very important to me and it smelled like coconuts and it was only $8.99. So I am really, really pumped to try this out. And this stuff is so new that it's not even on the Ulta website yet. So I guess they put out the display a little early at the Ulta that I was at at the time, but it was $8.99. I did use a coupon on it, so I got it for a little bit cheaper than that, thankfully. But I'm really pumped to try this out. I love the packaging. I love the smell. So it says that it is a dry shampoo with bamboo fibers and soy protein to revive volume and body to freshen and beautify. And if you were looking at this before, we have got a little bit of some grease. I wore my hair straight because my hair gets the greasiest when it's straight. Today is Saturday morning and I washed my hair on Thursday night. So this is only like day and a half hair. And when my hair is straight, it only looks clean for the first day that I wear it. So other than that, there is a little bit of grease in here as you guys can see. So this is the before of my hair. We've got definitely, especially with my darker roots, you can really kind of tell where the grease is at. You usually get pretty greasy in this little area here you can always tell my hair is dirty right there and then like I said right here the very back like top of my head here always looks pretty pretty gross so yeah that is what we are with for the before so why this says why you want it is it holds body and volume with this super amazing dry shampoo. And that's another thing with my hair when it's straight, it is flat city. Like I have a lot of hair, like there's a lot of hair here, but when it's straight, it just loses all body. It doesn't have anything. Like the only body is like right here. And that's because my like bang situation is right here. But other than that, it is flat. It does not have any volume. So I'm really hoping that this will give me some volume. So as far as the directions go, this says well before use apply to dry hair at the roots massage into scalp to absorb excess oil and grease and style as usual reapply as needed so it doesn't say that it's gonna last me all day long keep my hair looking fresh all day long so that's what we are gonna test out today I'm going to check in with you guys periodically throughout the day of me having this in my hair and we can see if it kept my oils at bay I don't have any makeup on because I'm going to be filming a V vibes events today and so I didn't want to have like dirty hair while I was filming that video so I figured I would do this first film my v-vibes events which when that is up I think it'll be up before this video I will link it up here for you guys I'm planning on using the Queen of Hearts palette by Colored Rain you guys have been wanting me to do a tutorial using it so yeah I'm just going to uh, spray this on and see what it does I really like this little cap it's like super unique it's just like a little bulb on the top of here so I love that this dry shampoo is a um, continuous sprayer it's not when you go ch -ch -ch. I like it much better when they're like this Looks like it's gonna be promising. We will count down how long SB will stay here with this aerosol spray going because whenever in the morning, ooh, smell it, it smells good. Whenever in the morning I'm putting my dry shampoo in, if she's in the bathroom, the second I spray it, she's out. So we will see how long she lasts sitting in that background. She looks pretty peaceful, but uh, we'll see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start spraying this in my root area here and we can uh, see what this does. It does smell amazing, like I said, like coconuts it's really really yummy I love when dry shampoos have a good smell it's kind of pretty important to me when it comes to dry shampoo because if they don't smell good they're not gonna make my hair smell good and that's kind of the point to making it feel cleaner is also that it smells good it doesn't seem to be leaving any kind of white residue I noticed that when I sprayed it on my hand to smell it it really does not leave a white residue it's pretty clear when you're looking at it here Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells very, very similar to the Triple Sec by Dry Bar, which I just recently tried because I got it as a 100 point perk. 
I'm just hoping that it actually gives me some volume as well because like I know I have dry shampoos that I love but they don't necessarily give me a ton of volume. Oh, see, there you go. You can see a little bit of a white cast going there, but I don't mind that. It makes my hair look cleaner when I shake it out, so I'm okay with a little white cast. So let's keep spraying. I like to kind of spray the root area. Oh, there we got some major white cast going there. I'm okay with it though. So if you're someone that doesn't like a white cast, it looks like this is actually going to leave a pretty strong one in the beginning. But you'll see when I shake it out, usually it goes away. Wow, you're still here? I'm surprised. The one thing I don't like about aerosol dry shampoos is that they tend to um, be done pretty quickly. They don't really last as long as a powder shampoo for sure because you kind of have to use a little bit more of it in order to get your hair completely clean. So far this one's looking pretty good though. Okay, so I'm just going to let that sit in my hair for like two minutes. <laughs> I look crazy right now. Okay, so I'm just going to let this sit in my hair for like two minutes with the crazy white cast and then I'm going to shake it out and we can see what it looks like. I will say just feeling it though, it doesn't feel extremely gritty. It feels, it feels cleaner, like it feels like there's powder in my hair, but it doesn't feel super gritty, which is amazing. I have tried some nasty dry shampoos that made your hair literally feel like it had, I don't even know, like glue in it. Like it just felt disgusting. So um, this one actually feels pretty good so far. So I think it's been in long enough. It's been in for about a minute or two. I'm just gonna shake it out. And this is what I always do in the morning. I usually let my dry shampoo shit in, shit in, wow. <laughs> Sit in for about 10 minutes while I do like my foundation um, and powder and brows and stuff. But um, today we are just gonna let it sit in for a minute because it is already looking much, much cleaner. Can you guys see that? That looks like pretty freshly washed. And I mean, it didn't give me a lot of volume from what I'm seeing here but it does have a little bit to it. It has that like clean hair volume a little bit. All right, I gotta say so far I'm digging it. I think my hair looks pretty clean at this point. I put in quite, I put in a handsome amount of this stuff, but it still feels very full. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna be going through this one really quickly. It smells so good and I can definitely smell it in my hair. <sighs> I smell like that coconutty goodness, but I'm excited about this, you guys. I think that my hair actually looks really good so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and check in with you guys in another couple of hours and we can see how this does throughout the day. I will have makeup on in my next check-in, so no worries there. If you're just so tired of looking at my no makeup face, I'm very sorry to hear that, but it is right now 11.39 in the morning. So I will check back in with you guys in a couple of hours and we can see how this dry shampoo is doing. So I did not check in like throughout the day like I usually do with a makeup product because of course this is a hair product It didn't really change as much as a makeup product usually does throughout the day. So right now it is 11 35 at night So I believe right about 12 hours since I put the dry shampoo in my hair So as you guys can see like there's a little bit of like grease coming through But I don't really see like any of it right here, which is where I touch my hair 
constantly throughout the day. I'm always putting my hands through my hair or putting my hair behind my ear. And I don't really see any oil peeking through from that. Um, I wouldn't say the volume really had a huge effect. I know earlier in the video I didn't really mention that this gave me a ton more volume. But I mean, I wouldn't say that it made my hair look bad in any way. I'm actually like really, really excited about this dry shampoo because this is only $9. And I absolutely love the detox dry shampoo from dry bar you guys know I still like the way that one smells better but this one works just as well as that one so I am super pumped to keep using this hopefully this one will last me a long time I'll be sure to let you guys know in the empties video my next empties I'm sure will include this because it'll be a couple months from now so yeah I personally at first time use I really recommend this I really like it hopefully Ulta puts it on their website soon so that you guys can buy it and I can link it down below for you guys if I can't find it on Ulta's website I'll see if I can find it on organics website or something like that but this gets a thumbs up for me I really like it so if that video was helpful for you guys which I hope it was then be sure to show some love to the like button down there and if you subscribe you can be a member of my Muse family and I love you guys so so much thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video bye guys